Hi guys, today we're going to learn about color theory and I know some of this will be more of a review for you guys, but some of it is going to be new information as well. So the idea behind this project is that you will know a bunch of different ways to classify or organize or group colors. So some of these you already know and are pretty familiar with. So in front of me, I've got the color wheel. And then I've also got to the side, this is one of my favorite versions of it, because to the side you can see um, this is an example of the color wheel using just the primary colors. So that's one way you can group or categorize um, the color wheel, just in the primary colors. Um, we know that these colors uh, come from the earth originally. Um, there's nothing you can do to mix two colors and get blue. You can't mix two colors and get red, and you can't mix two colors and get yellow. They just are what they are. They come from the earth. We also know that when you do mix two primary colors, you get what's called the secondary colors. So um, when you mix blue and red, you get violet. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. And when you mix yellow and red, you get orange. So that should be somewhat of a review for you guys. What you may not know is that you can also mix a secondary with a primary color. So looking over here at the big wheel, um, blue is the primary, violet is the secondary. You can mix it and get blue-violet. You can mix red and violet and get red-violet. Orange and red make red-orange. Yellow and orange make yellow-orange. Yellow and green make yellow-green, and green and blue make blue-green. Notice it's always the primary color uh, name first. That's something I didn't learn until I was in college, um, so you guys are ahead of me already. Uh, when you're talking about the color wheel, there's also other ways to classify or group colors. So uh, one of the ways is analogous. And think of analogous as being neighboring colors. It doesn't just have to be yellow, yellow, orange, orange, and red, orange. It can be anywhere from, I would say, three, maybe three to five colors. So um, this just shows four colors right here. You could also use colors like red, red, violet, violet, and blue, violet as your analogous colors. See how they all touch? They're all directly in a row, kind of like ombre these days. Uh, you could also use blue, violet, blue, blue, green, green. You could go this direction if you wanted. You can start anywhere as long as you don't have any more than uh, three to four, possibly five colors in a row. That's what creates analogous. Um, Complementary is where they are directly opposite of each other on the color wheel. So the example over here is yellow and violet. Um, it could also be red all the way across is green. Um, it could be orange and all the way across is blue. Or you could even use the intermediate or tertiary colors and you can follow them all the way across. So yellow green is the complementary to red violet. Um, so complementary, analogous, primary, secondary, intermediate. We will not go into split complementary. It's maybe a little too advanced for what we're doing today, but it's on this. So that's where you take not directly across, but you take a color. So the example here is yellow and you go on either side of uh, the color directly, the complementary color, you split it. So yellow's split complementary would be blue violet and red violet. So that's a little bit more advanced than uh, what we really need to get into today, but I wanted to at least mention it since it's on this sheet. What is not on this sheet, but is probably a review, is where we talk about warm and cool colors. And when we have warm and cool colors, we literally take half of the color wheel and these are all warm colors, and they didn't include that on this. Maybe I can add another one. I didn't create this, but it would be nice if they had it down here, wouldn't it? Um, warm colors are colors that make you feel warm. So you think of the sun, you think of fire. Um, these are all considered warm colors. So the opposite of that would be cool colors. So the cool colors are on the opposite side. These are colors that make us think of being cold. Um, blue is known as a calming or a cool color. Sometimes you talk about the mountains um, looking like a purple mountain majesty. Um, so they're cool colors. Um, and I don't know where we get green. I don't know how to make green cool. But anyway, <laughs> these are your six cool colors. So what we're going to do today um, with our paper, I'm going to move this over. 
um, and we'll reference it a little bit. I kind of went ahead and I divided my paper into eight sections. You do not have to have perfect rectangle or perfect uh, blocks like I have. Um, I used a ruler and I just divided it evenly across the page. So my paper and your paper may be a different size, but my paper is nine by 12. So what I did is I took the 12 inch side and I realized that every three inches I could get four perfect uh, squares or boxes, I guess they're not squares. And so I kind of did that on either side and then I just found the middle of my paper and made a line down the middle. Yours does not have to be perfectly even though. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of go over these because inside each of these boxes, we are going to work on our own color theory categories. So you can start wherever you want. Um, I am gonna kind of start with primary colors because primary is another word for first. So you can see over to the side, I have my three primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a box, any box, it's totally up to you, um, and you're gonna make some kind of line pattern. Don't make it too complicated, you guys. Uh, I may just do some kind of wavy line. The idea is I'm gonna use my primary colors in this box. Um, I'm also going to have a box for my secondary colors. So over here you can see I've got green, orange, and violet. So I'm also going to have a box that I'm gonna use for green, orange, and violet. And again, your boxes, maybe you wanna make um, your shapes different from mine. I just wanted to make mine nice and streamlined, meaning easy to follow and easy to kind of visually see what we've got going on. Um, then you're gonna have a section for your six intermediate colors. So here are my intermediate colors. Um, I should have six of them, blue, violet, red, violet, red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green. So remember, if you don't have, I have the big um, 64 box of crayons here that I'm using. If you don't have this many crayons, you know how to create these colors, right? Using the crayons that you have. You're going to mix them together with your crayon. So if you don't have one that spe uh, specifically says blue, violet, like mine, you can take your blue and your violet or purple, it's also known as, you can mix them together. You can literally color the blue on top of the purple nice and light and you will get blue violet. So don't worry if you don't have uh, the big box of crayons like me, uh, you don't need them. So now maybe over here, uh, where would I like it? I think I'm gonna put it over here. So notice how my lines are really big. I don't want anything too small because again, we are coloring in between the lines. So if you do too many, um, it will be a lot to color in. So make it easier on yourself as far as the lines and, and the spaces in between. So um, as of right now, I have my primary colors. This is gonna be for my secondary colors. And this is going to be for my intermediate colors. We also talked about warm and cool colors. So I wanna make something for my warm and cool colors. So I think here, this is where I'm gonna put my warm colors. So I'm gonna do a circle and I'm gonna keep making this. Oop, I got stuck on something. Um, I'm gonna keep making this circle big even though it kinda of looks like I don't wanna get over into this box. So I'm gonna stop at that line. Um, kind of like this. There we go, it's like a tunnel we can walk into. So I'm gonna save this for my warm colors. Um, and then I think I'm gonna make my cool colors. Let's see. I'm gonna make my cool colors over here. So. It look like it's dripping, make me think of icicles. It's kind of similar to this one, but that's okay. The colors will be different, so I won't worry about that too much. So this is gonna be for my cool colors. So that means I have three boxes left. 
What I'm going to do in these three boxes, I'm going to pick one of them for my monochromatic. And that's something that is not on the sheet that we have. Um, but monochromatic breaks down to mono is one, chromatic is color. So one color. So we get one color by adding tints, which is a tint is when you add white and you make something lighter. And um, we create shades. So you take one color and you add black and you get the color gets darker and darker and that's a shade. So even though it doesn't say monochromatic, we get monochromatic uh, color schemes by adding tints and shades. So one color um, in all of its lightest forms and all of its darkest forms. So I think I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to go a big zigzag. I'm repeating some of my lines. So this is going to be my big monochromatic color. So I have two more. Um, what I'm going to do for one of them is going to be complementary. So we talked about complementary, right? Complementary is where they are completely opposite. So I'm only going to have two colors in this one. So that's all I need is two colors. So I think in this one, I'm going to make... Oop, I got away from me on that one. I'm just going to make some big uh, circles. And this is going to be my complementary. So my very last square is going to be my analogous square. So over here, I am going to create some kind of shape on this side. I think I'm going to do like a rainbow. I'm going to go this way. So remember, analogous is where they're neighbors on the color wheel. So just three, four, maybe five colors next to each other on the color wheel. So I'm going to pause my video and I'm going to take a little bit of time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my colors, my primary colors, my secondary colors, my intermediate colors. And because I have other colors as well, when it comes to um, my monochromatic Remember, it's one color in all its lightest and all of its darkest forms. I can use any of the other colors that I want. So if I want to use, um, let's say, green, I can grab all of the different shades of green. Because these all are all shades of green. You can tell by the wrapper. Um, but some of them are darker and some of them are brighter. So I can use all of these here for my monochromatic. I can use all of my primary colors I believe I said they were going to go there. Um, this was going to be my secondary colors. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> this was going to be my intermediate colors. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to fill all these in. And then you can see how I created my artwork after this. So I'm going to pause it. All right, guys. I am all finished. Here is what I came up with. Once again, I wanted to run through um, the different color theories or color categories, um, color schemes that I used. So remember, I started with primary colors. So our primary colors um, are right here, red, yellow, blue. This is our primary square. Next, I did our secondary square. So we've got violet, orange, and green. Next, uh, I did intermediate colors. Let's scoot that down in case you want to pause any of these. So I did yellow orange, red orange, red violet, blue violet, blue green, yellow green, and then I just did a repeat of the yellow orange since I had an, a little bit on either end. So here's my intermediate colors. Next, I came down here and I did the warm colors. Now, I didn't use any light green. I don't officially... Um, add the light green, which we refer to as yellow green. In my warm colors, personally, I go from red, violet, all the way to yellow. So that's what I did. I did yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, and then I kind of took a magenta and did the edges just to kind of finish that off. The next thing I did were the cool colors. So right here, I've got my cool colors. 
Um, I do include the yellow green in the cool colors and I just kind of, it made me think of like waves and remember it's supposed to be calming and peaceful just like it says right here. The next space that I did was monochromatic and remember monochromatic is one single color with all of its tints and shades. So I took the color green and I used the lighter greens, you can tell this one, they added white and maybe even a little yellow to it. This one, it looks like maybe they took green and added a little bit of gray to it to get it a little bit darker. This is a little bit more vibrant, maybe some yellow and some white. So it's one single color in all of its different tints and shades. The next square or box that I created was my complementary color. So remember, it has to be a color directly opposite from each other on the color wheel. So I did red, violet, and yellow, green. Those were my two colors that I chose for complementary colors. And then our last one that we have are analogous colors. So this box over here is analogous. So they're colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. And I chose this array of colors over here almost. I actually did blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet. So instead of using red, I chose blue. So I have blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, and then I repeated them out. So it's your turn now to come up with a color uh, theory page. Remember, you don't have to box off like I did, um, but the idea is to create spaces inside each shape that you make or each box that you make so that you can color them in using those different color theories. Um, I used mostly these 12 colors which are all found on the color wheel. Um, I did include a couple of other colors a few times when I did my monochromatic, although you, I could have still done it with, I still could have done my monochromatic color just using um, these three colors because these are all variations of green. So I could have just used those. So if you guys have any questions on this, let me know. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with.